It's actually one of the uh, hotly debated topics uh, in 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 our company, as you can imagine, right? Um, how broad should the claim uh, claims be? Uh, first off, when they are provided to the uh, to the invent uh, to the attorney uh, for their review, and when we first produced the first version, you know, um, we were going like extremely broad, and I took it to Thomas, uh, you know, to his office in Seattle, and I showed it to him, and he's like, no, 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 this is too broad, you know, I will not be able to explain this to a jury yeah, if it ever gets into litigation, don't do it, don't do that. And then we iterated, we got feedback from many other attorneys, we 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 went through multiple iterations. At this point, what the uh, what our system does is it provides two sets of claims actually it allows you to select from two sets of claims with varying breadth and with varying level of detail right so now you are saying okay you know what you have a choice you decide we can't decide because you know we don't know exactly what your clients want what your exact goals are what your targets are we look at the prior art we work around the prior art and give you two sets of claims to work with. And as Dina says, you know, you can iterate and you can ask multiple versions of it, et cetera. So uh, to that extent, you know, uh, it, 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 the, the system is extremely uh, good at being able to work at any level of um, sort of abstraction, you know, from your very narrow invention idea to like the 20,000 lo foot level abstraction. It's up to you to select where you want to be. Maybe at some point we should provide a slider like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. Um